Hey guys, how you doing? We're going to go ahead and continue our lesson from the previous videos and um, we're doing the rest of the packet. Uh, now we're going to be talking about the derivative of trigonometric functions using chain rule. So notice, notice this derivative chart that they gave you here. Now we all know what the derivative of sine of x is. That's cosine of x. But in, the, in, in these derivative formulas, do you see that there's no longer x, there's u's? Well, what they're trying to say is that u is now a function of x. So it's no longer just a variable that you're dealing with anymore. It's a function. And the trigonometrics have a chain rule uh, process very, very similar to what we've been doing in the previous problems. Let me go ahead and explain. Um, so here we have the sine of u and if you want to take the derivative of sine of u you look at the outside function what is the main function? cosine I'm sorry, I'm sorry sine what's the derivative of sine? that's cosine and then you're gonna keep the inside and then take the derivative of the inside and multiply it to the outside and that is u prime now u prime is the same thing as du dx. du dx is the same thing as u prime. It's just a more formal of a more formal way of saying derivative. So really, it's just a chain rule all over again. Nothing new. Same process. Just take the derivative of the inside and multiply it to the outside. That is your chain rule. So let's go ahead and do some of these problems. And in this worksheet, they even give you some steps. Anytime you have simple trick functions like this this and this you follow the step first step take the derivative of the trick function second step take the derivative of the angle and multiply it to the outside now these are the angles if you remember your trig the numbers the expressions inside the trick functions are your angles or your arguments so let's go ahead and start what is the derivative of cosine the derivative of cosine is negative sine. Keep the angle. That's step one right here. Now let's do step two. Multiply by the derivative of the angle. Well, what is the derivative of 3x? 3. So I really just have negative 3 sine 3x. That is my derivative. Next one. This let's take the derivative of sine 5x squared what is the derivative of sine? well that's cosine keep the inside and then take the derivative of the inside and multiply it to the outside which is sorry not 25 10x so I can rewrite that as 10x cosine 5x squared next problem we have the cosecant take the derivative of the cosecant and what is that well that is negative cosecant u cotangent u now this is the part that gets tricky just bear with me here simply take the derivative of cosecant what is the derivative of cosecant it's negative cosecant and then it's u the angle and then it's cotangent. I'm just following this part right here. Cotangent u and then and then times the derivative of u which is the u prime so I don't have to do this twice. I'm only doing this once even though I have two angles. I'm only taking the derivative of the argument of the original right here and I'm multiplying it to the outside which is 35x um, to the fourth and there it is there's my derivative now in the next part is even more trickier this time we don't have simple trick functions we have trick functions that are being raised to a power now notice that's cosine to the fourth secant squared okay so let's go ahead and do these two let's rewrite this so that we understand what's going on it's gonna be parentheses cosine 
5x to the fourth. There's a special set of rules for this. The first thing you do, you apply the power rule. Only apply the power rule if you have a power in your trig functions, like those. And then the second step is multiply by the derivative of the inside of the parentheses, which is the trig function. This one right here. And then the last step is multiply by the derivative of the angle, which is now this part right there. So let me go ahead and show you how that looks like. Let's take this very slow. So do the power rule. Drop the 4. 4 cosine. What's 1 taken away from 4? Well, it becomes to the third. Keep the angle, 5x. Now take the derivative of the, the trick function, this one right here, and that becomes negative sine. Keep the angle and the derivative of the angle, which is 5. Now, this is the reason why they call it chain rule, because it looks like there's a chain of functions going on. So let's clean this up. 4, I'm sorry, 5 times 4 times a negative is negative 20 cosine to the third 5x sine 5x. And that is my answer. In class, we're going to have what's called an M&M &M activity. And I hope that that's going to help you guys out uh, understand the chain rule. So you guys are going to have to wait for that to happen. Okay, so let's quickly do this next one. This one can be written as secant 4x to the third 5 squared. So that's going to be the power rule. Drop the 2. Take 1 away from 2. So it becomes 2 parentheses secant 4x to the third plus 5 to the first and then take the derivative of the trig function what's the derivative of secant secant tangent so it's going to be times secant keep the angle we haven't done the derivative of the angle yet tangent and then now take the derivative of the angle only one angle no need for two even though there's more than one trig, we're only doing one du dx. So what is the derivative of the angle? The angle is, well, the derivative of the angle is 12x squared plus 5. Well, no, not plus 5 anymore. 5 goes away. So now I have 2 times 12x squared. Pay attention to this part. I have secant. 4x cubed plus 5 and another secant 4x cubed plus 5 which means I have a total of 2 so my final answer is going to be 24x squared secant squared since I have two of them 4x to the third plus 5 tangent 4x cubed plus 5 and there's my derivative of that function that's a hard function normally they don't ask a problem like that on the AP but to prepare you guys for anything, we're going to go ahead and just include it in our lesson. And then the next example, we have the tangent. Okay, What's the derivative of tangent? The derivative of tangent is secant squared. Keep the angle, and then take the derivative of the angle and multiply it to the outside. And there's my derivative. The last problem, what is the derivative of h? Notice I have h prime of 3. The derivative of h is f prime of g of x times g prime. And then plug in 3 and you get f prime of g of 3 times g prime of 3. Okay, and then I, I went ahead and just gave you guys the answer and I color coded them. I'll let you guys make the connections only because I'm running out of time. So um, just take a look at this part right here and then try to make the connections with this bottom part and the answer is negative 40. I'll see you guys.